hi friends uh, welcome to shell scripting tutorial uh, in this session we are going to learn about chmod and chmod and chown command chown and chmod command so what these commands are used for and how the these commands is going to use in our uh, regular shell scripting shell scripting okay whenever you want to write some shell scripts so how you want how these commands are going to be useful for us okay let's simply talk about now okay ls hyphen l command let's type ls hyphen l command here so if you can take one file permissions okay so one file permissions will be allocated as a different blocks okay one block is for user and one other block is for group and one more block is for others so here if you can see the first column so in this first column there are the different permissions are there so the first one represents the what is the type of file whether it is a directory or it is a regular file it is the executable file or whatever the file file type okay and the next one read and write execute this column represents that the user ownership and the next column the, the next three one three rewrite execute here this one represents the group and last one is represents the others so what does mean by the rules user group and others here it is the user who created the file or the who owns the file this permission will be available okay with the this first column okay and the group the who owns this file as a group okay this permission will be available these permissions will be applicable for here in the sense in this file so if you take this music directory so for music directory root is the owner and he has read and read executable permissions and root is the group owner okay and the group has read and executable permissions and other in the sense other than the owner and other than the group they they call it as any others so others also has any read and write executable permissions here okay we just see that uh, different blocks and uh, read, uh, uh, permissions here so how the permissions will be uh, calculated in the numerical values uh, how it represents in the numerical values and the alpha alpha values so let's see here so read the value of the read is 4 and write value equal to 2 and executable value equal to 1 so combining both all together is 7 okay let's say that for one particular user read permission is 4 write is 2 and execute is 1 so combining both together read and write execute is 7 so this is for one user if you want to cal calculate the read uh, user and group and others then we have to add two more columns read and write execute read and write execute read and write execute like this okay this is the numerical value how we calculate in the calculate for the uh, permissions or how we represent the permissions if you take a alphabetical order so alphabetical order is that simply so read or write w execute this one but this on this does not uh, say that user permission or the group permission or other permissions okay so simply using the ch mode command we can change the permission using the numerical value as well as the alpha value alpha values characters okay let's take one file as example here so i have a example file here it is run upgrade .sh file okay currently this has read and write read and write read and read permissions if i want to change a permissions to the others you can simply type okay uh, read and write i already have so that's why i have to take the six value here so and four and seven value here read and write execute for the others and provide the file name so that the value of the file 
permission the file permissions will be changed here so see here it was before read write read and read okay read write for the user and read only for group and read and write, read only for this but now read and write for the user and read for the group and read and write execute for the others if you want to change the permission so what you have to using the numerical value what you have to remember is that the previous value for the what are the permissions has you have to remember because if you change the only the other permissions excluding this uh, owner and group so the owner and group existing permissions will be uh, changed right so other way if you want to change a permissions only for particular uh, user or the group or the others so it's simply possible using the ch mode command by the character values so you place place symbol which represents in the sense adding the permissions okay right now i want to add an executable permissions to the uh, file for the user so user does not have an executable permissions for this file so now i have added using the u plus x so read and write execute for the users if you want to change a other value so o i am removing the other values so i want to remove all the permissions of this file for the others okay others i don't want to give any permissions so others will have nil if i want to add a group permissions ch mode and g place and provide the which value you wanted to add and list again here what is the permission this added so read and write for the group like this you can also add or if you want to change the permissions for the re, uh, at a time all the users and group and others you can also simply use a numerical value will be better to use for changing the values for the users and groups and others simply type triple seven okay you can get the all the permissions all the permissions will of the users and groups and others will be changed in this manner okay if you want to revoke the permissions you can simply type ch mode or all the zeros okay it will revoke all the permissions of that file see and nothing if you want to add from character uh, symbols you can simply use user group and others okay i want to add read and write for all the users and groups and others okay simply type like this so this is the values we are going to get so basically ch mode command ch mod command is used to change the values okay of the file permissions or the directory permissions as you want okay now let's say this file has already a ownership of root and the root as the group but i want to change to the different u group okay simply say so as of now maybe i did not have any group here so simply say group add group add and i am providing a group name called admin so admin it says already exists so you can simply use that ls hyphen l and provide that file name so here my group ownership is root i want to change that to the other so admin ch own and you can simply change root colon admin so that the existing ownership would be root and the group owner would be in a admin say now change it from root to admin like this you can simply change the uh, root ownership the uh, um, ownership of the uh, existing user to other user or group ownership from existing group to other group you can simply change or else you can also use chgrp command simply change only the group without touching the 
ownership of the current user you can simply type like this so the group only will be changed using the chrp command okay again if you want to go back to the admin you can simply type like this and provide the file name so that it will be again changed back to the permissions like this this is the uh, uh, permissions you can simply use changing the permissions from uh, for the files or directories read and write execute read and write execute for the users groups and others using the chmod command and changing the ownership using the chown command like that you can simply use this method so how these commands are going to be useful in your cell script is that whenever you wanted to execute in a script you require an executable permission so that we can use the simply chmod command to change that so in that way it's going to helpful for us in the self scripting thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel for more updates